Will school be at school or at home? Will my fall sport even have practice? When can I see my friends? The questions are swirling and it's exhausting. It can be really easy to get sucked into all the things that are not going well. Really easy to see what we can't do. But one of the things we can do for our kids is focus on things that we can control and what we can do. Dr. Marsek says some of what we can control are bedtimes and wake-up times, meals, study spaces, and breaks. She also says transparency, even with younger children, will go a long way. I think it's really important to be honest with our kids so that they know they can trust their parents and know that they that you're telling them the information that you do have, um, that you're not trying to cover it up, not trying to kind of sweep it under the rug, um, avoid saying, oh, it's no big deal. We'll just do this now. But just saying, yeah, you know, I wish I knew. I wish I knew what was going to happen next week. I really wish I knew if you were going to have your basketball season this year. Um, but, you know, we're just going to have to take it one step at a time um, and focus on what we know for today. And what we know today isn't much. That unknown is causing parents to question whether their child will be ready to move up to the next grade level. Dr. Marsek says there is data that gives her hope. But what we can do is look at what we've learned from some of the other natural disasters. So there's research out there around some of the hurricanes, some of the, the things that swept New Orleans in the recent past um, where kids did miss you know, six months, sometimes even longer chunks of school or were displaced from their home and doing different kinds of learning. And a lot of those kids are, you know, teachers, doctors, lawyers, you know, people have have moved along, have recovered from a lot of these really, really difficult events and are thriving. She says kids resilience is powerful, but through a study she's conducting right now, she knows kids can't do it alone. One of the things that we've already learned from our study is um, over half of our parents that have participated so far um, thought that um, therapy could be helpful for their family and are really open to getting support. Her message, kids should have that support and remember, this is all temporary. In Lexington, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News.